So what do you have here, Daniel? Well, this is without a doubt the most beautiful trout I ever caught. Caught a lot of fish in New Zealand and and <laughs> in Denmark, of course, and Norway and Sweden, but this is by far the, the, the broadest, the widest, and you know, just... <laughs> just... Just Iceland, you know? <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Today I'm gonna tie a, a small uh, stickleback. Uh, this is a fly I've been using, I used a lot uh, in, in Iceland and uh, some of my friends have used a lot in Iceland. But it's a nice sea trout fly as well and, and it's it's a very good trout fly in general. Anywhere where there are small bait fish, uh, approximately the size of sticklebacks. And, and this really, really produced a lot of fish for me in Iceland also uh, got me my uh, all-time, well, one of the best fish I ever landed. This huge, huge uh, arctic char on almost uh, around around four kilos that was simply just out of this world. Um, so basically what I've done is I added some tying thread to uh, to my uh, to my to my hook here. This is an, an A-Rex, one of the new A-Rex hooks. Uh, uh, a brand of hooks that I really really enjoy using. They're strong, they're durable and, and they hook very very well. Um, so so it's a, it's a, it's a new brand but uh, but a very serious uh, one at that. Uh, and uh, and I expect a lot of a lot of my flies <laughs> in my own box and in my videos to be to be tied on A-Rex from uh, from now on. Simply, simply, simply good, decent, uh, very nice designed hooks that uh, that really works. So, first off, I take a small bundle of marabou. I have trimmed this a bit with my fingers in order to make it uh, not too long. This is just going to be a short tail, but uh, but uh, in order to simply just have the effect I wish, like something like that. This is a size four hook. And uh, and basically that's uh, that's a good size for these because uh, uh, at least where I fished in Iceland, uh, you you wanted something that was a bit bigger than well what you ordinarily use because these trouts they meant business and they were <laughs> they were they were <laughs> they were feeding they were eating uh, not everything that they were presented with but uh, but size was not uh, was not that important to them and that's in general my uh, my my experience with uh, with with larger trout or with trout in general that um, if they're not seen if they've not seen let's say too many flies they will uh, they are they are opportunists and they will they will they will strike a, a large even even very large prey also because they simply will they need to feed they need to eat and be <laughs> strong and big as fast as they can next up i take uh, some mylar tubing and um, this is black tone which is uh, a blend of uh, of, uh, of some some black strands inside pearl which is a very good combination for for many things i really like that and make two two loose turns before i tie this down in order to get the base just right for this so i'm really gonna clamp down on this here and as you can see i'm leaving these stumps to stick out so i'm i'm having the marabou mixed with the with some of the stumps from uh, from this uh, this mylar tubing and uh, that's a pretty nice effect like that good and uh, and what i want to do here is is to make sure that this stays exactly where i placed it so i'm gonna add a bit of a bit of uh, the brush on Sabagap, something that also is is a very nice product that really really works. Got next up is I'm gonna take some uh, some rabbit, some rabbit sunker, and um, this is uh, simply just a a, a barred piece of uh, of sunker strip. Uh, but um, since when uh, when you open the package, these are not tapered. The, the 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 strips here are not tapered. I'm gonna do that myself because I think that very often can be quite crucial. The effect of that is very very nice. Just had to adjust everything a bit. So what I'm gonna do is this is a bit longer than I probably need. But what I will do is I will cut with my scissors. I will cut so so that it tapers out into a tip. And I'll do that by turning it over and then simply taking my scissor and that's gonna be hard to show you but something like cutting on there I, mean, I can show you the result after I've done it. 
First I cut one side. And then I do it on the other side as well. Hey, there is now a mark of fish on 3 kilo or something. Oh. I think you get the gist here. So as you can see, now it, it tapers. It's not it's not you know just a, a straight cut off uh, material. Good. And then I'm look. I will look at how long do I want this, and I want this to be roughly something like that. So uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissor or my dubbing needle or whatever, and then I'm gonna hold some of the some of the some of the hairs back and some of the hairs down in front, and then I'm gonna take my scissor like so and I'm gonna make sure that I have only the hairs in a in a special place so I have all the hairs from in front and I'm gonna take a bit of saliva to make it stay there also on the other side so you can see now I have the exact point where I want this to uh, where I want this to be tied down and I need that because the the strip, the skin here, is often too thick uh, on these uh, on these pre-cut packages. So I take uh, and and uh, and if it's too thick, it's going to give me a very very broad and very very clumsy t uh, tying down. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissor. I'm going to cut some of this off, um, and I'm I'm going to. It's it's very difficult to show you, but what I do is I actually take my scissor and then I cut some of this too thick skin on the on the underside here away to leave a thinner a thinner piece of skin for me to to tie on these soft toy guys down. they know how to do stuff <sighs> like so i think you can see that actually See? A lot thinner now. And that's what I was aiming for. So, great. I'm gonna put this right here. And tie it down. Like so. If the hair is in the way, simply just apply some saliva with your fingers, like I did there. And that will make it easier for you to maneuver. Like so, I'm gonna make a good finish. And if you want, you can add some varnish or some super glue here. Even apply some to the tying thread. Just gonna turn it over and apply a bit of super glue. suffice like so cut off the thread like that and I'm gonna hold everything back here I'm gonna figure out where I need this to end yeah, I'm pulling all, all I can here in the mylar So, okay, I'm gonna give this a bit of uh, a bit of super glue. Otherwise, this will have a hard time staying where it's placed. Like so. Super glue is my best friend for a lot of stuff, at least. Really clamp down, and there you basically have a lot of it. Just gonna cut off the mylar tubing here. And 
It's okay if you have, let's say, a couple of millimeters up to the head because there's going to be a lot of things going on in a second here. You're going to have to add a head and uh, and stuff like that. So, so it's okay if you're not completely up uh, at at the eye. If you have, let's say, a millimeter or two of free maneuver maneuvering space to to try this, that actually works very well. Like so. <laughs> yeah, this is done, huh? <clears throat> good. Oh, good. There is a lid on the super glue. So. And then I take this and uh, simply fold this forward. And again, I'm noticing exactly where I'm gonna tie this down. It's gonna be around there. And then I hold it up and I cut off all of the skin that is too much because I want this to be easier for me to tie down without it. this being way, way too bulky. <laughs> the trick here is not to cut all the way through the skin. If you do that, then uh, well, basically you're screwed. So it takes a bit of practice, but uh, but once you have it, it's it's fairly easy to do time and time again. And you can cut way more off than what you would probably think, like so. And then I, I leave all of this here. Uh, while I tie it down, because that will give my wing the the a, a great looking, uh, a great looking uh, tapering effect, like so. So don't be, don't be afraid to use some saliva on these uh, songers until they're done, because that really really helps out a lot. Like that. I'm gonna cut off all this here. I don't need that anymore. Like so. And a nice pair of scissors really is important here. Like that. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Then I'm gonna take um, a hackle, a golden olive one. Um, and you can use, uh, you can, you can of course get a whole cape, uh, but otherwise uh, I, I simply use uh, some of these uh, these packages from from Mets here today. Uh, they're pretty nice, pretty inexpensive, and and works works quite well. Like so. Turn the heckle here a couple of times. Maybe one final time, something like that. There. And the nice thing about this is you don't need to worry too much about if your head is completely perfect and stuff like that because it's all going to be covered in a second with the with a fish skull. So something like that is good. Make my work finish here. Cutting uh, that off. Like so. And then I'm going to find me a fish mask. And of course these comes in all kinds of different colors, gold and stuff like that. I like this. Uh, uh, this is the smallest size they have. This is uh, this is the the small one, and it has a keel. So you need to be uh, be searching about what size is up and what size is down. And uh, and the keel is is the thicker part of this. And you simply just push that on there, like so.
and uh, you add some weight to the fly so now it will it will look great it will have this bouncy movement in the water and um, it finishes the fly off beautifully and uh, and also it uh, it ensures that your uh, your 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 fly your uh, your 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 head and stuff like that is 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 not going anywhere. Of course, uh, just to be certain, I'm gonna take a bit more super glue to make sure the head stays on there, uh, like so. And uh, and then of course you need to add some eyes um, to this. So basically. There it is, and I'm gonna take some, you can take some super glue or some UV glue, I'm gonna take some UV glue. There is eyes in the package with these eyes, with these heads, but but I like a, I like a fluoro yellow eyes in three millimeters instead of, uh, of the, the rather dull ones that are in the package. Simply take a fluoro yellow one, add it there, add a bit more super glue, very, very small amount. And then apply the light, and there you have it. <laughs> deadly, deadly little songer. Oh well, not that little, but a deadly, deadly songer for uh, for trout anywhere. And uh, and it really has a nice jigging effect with the, with the head and and stuff. So, well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and uh, of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already that would uh, that would mean a lot to me uh, thank you very much for uh, for watching this and uh, well good luck out on the waters so what do you have here daniel well this is without a doubt the most beautiful trout i ever caught caught a lot of fish in new zealand and and <laughs> in denmark of course and norway and sweden but this is by far the the, the broadest the widest and you know just Just, just Iceland, you know? <laughs> oh my god.